Hello there guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the AFC New and Career Mode here on FIFA 22. Today we are going to be playing through another month of the calendar, starting off with a game against Preston North End. We're going to sim two games today against Middlesbrough and Barnsley, home against Middlesbrough, away to Barnsley, before we take on Southampton away from home. Southampton currently one of the front runners in the league and expected to be up there at the end of the season too, so a difficult game. And three difficult fixtures for us coming off the back of some shaky form recently in the last episode. Hopefully we can correct that today and play a little bit better football. First game against Preston at home though. Let's see who is in the side. Okay, both sides then going to be playing a five at the back formation here. Then they've got three in the middle to our two. We're going with Jakonski in goal. Hicks at left back for us. Gail Goodwin and Bomb the centre back. Sessignon at right back. We've got Lerma and Stanley. In the middle for us today with Jasper King and Kahinde playing the front line. Preston will get us underway then in this fixture. Back to our flow serve arena in anticipation of this game. Josh King goals this season. See him top of the table when it comes to goal scoring charts. And hopefully he can keep adding to that. Sylvester Jasper also scored a lot of goals for us this season. And hopefully he can return to the goals. And Kahinde is such an influential figure as well. Need big performances from our attacking players. Um, anyway, underway at the Flow Serve Arena and Preston coming forward early on. Stanberg, Strandberg, sorry, we'll slip it in behind. Jakonski's come and committed and he's not got there and he's then fouled Earl and it's a penalty. It's five minutes in. Jakonski is not going to be booked for this, thankfully. But he has committed there and he has been caught not once but twice. Second one leading to the pen. And now it's going to be up to him to rectify that mistake. Early chance for Preston. It is going to be Strandberg who will step up. And he's gone the right way, Jakonski, but it's a good enough pen to see it find the top corner. 1-0 Preston, North End. I'll be standing for us. You can see the table there, Southampton, who we play at the end of the month. Currently second in the league behind Brentford. So... Need to pick up as many points as we can before we get to the difficult game. Do we want to be up the end, of the top end of the table come end of the season? And Sylvester Jasper. Kehinde, great back heel. Jepson Lerma finishes it off. 1-1. One, one. Really nice little move on the edge of the box there. And Lerma is the man to slot it home. It's a little bit of pressure. Josh King has come away with it. And Kehinde is in behind here. Justin Kehinde finished. Good save by the goalkeeper. Wasn't the best of efforts from Kehinde. Picked it back up on the edge of the box again, though. Justin Kehinde as he tries to turn away. Now Jasper out to Logan Hicks. Right footed, dink cross. Josh King's header. Wide of the post. Round for Preston. Strandberg towing by Stanley. Ball not recovered, though. As Preston keep it. And this is turned. And Matt Brown in the area. Gale slides in. Can't get there. And Brown. Has reinstated Preston North and lead 21 minutes in. Three goals in the back of the net. 2 1 Preston. We need to get level before the break here. This game could easily get away from us if we don't get back into it soon. There's Lerma. Obviously, Stanley will pick it up in the midfield. Stride forward like he does and hits it goalwards, but it's going to be deflected out for a corner. Lerma over to take it. In swing at keepers not come for it. Goodwin's header it goes through the crowd and into the back of the net, and we are level before the break. Sam Goodwin, captain, fantastic, nods it in. Four goals in the first half. All delivered by Lerma was deep into goalkeeping territory, but he stayed at home. And in a crowd of players, somehow finds the back of the net. Keeper really didn't react well to it either. Questions of that one didn't come and collect it. Try to punch it and then absolutely missed it when it came towards him. 2-2. Two -two. Reese for Preston. Tackle and bomb. Stanley's in there. Bomb. Lerma. Look at wide two. Sessegnon looks up the channel to Kahinde, who has had the better of his man today and beats a second. It's still Kahinde driving into the area. It's to Kahinde and he's going to be tapped out by Sylvester Jasper. The flag stays down. 3-2 Newark. And Tosin Kahinde. That was fantastic running again from him. I love this celebration here at Newark. I don't know why we keep doing it. These boys <laughs> are three two up. Reese. Ball to Strandberg. 
It's a really good challenge from Gale. Defensively does such good work. And now looking for Kahinde. It's come over to this left-hand side. Josh King and Stanley in the middle. It's Stanley across to King. It's going to be blocked, though. King looking for that easy tap-in. Stanley worked it across quickly, but it's going to be blocked. And now here come Preston the other way. Strandberg versus Gale. Gale's going to drive him out wide. Strandberg looks to cut back inside. Earl squeezes it inside to Ledson. And he has enough bodies back there. He's done enough. Sesseng Yong there was always giving it away. And then fouled his man. Free kick, 10 minutes to go. Preston out wide. Yellow card to Sesseng Yong. A chance to deliver this ball for Ledson. It goes towards Gale, heading in front of him and over onto the top of the net by Brown. That was very close to the equaliser for Preston North End. One kick downfield by Zhukonski. Kahinde with a really good winner. Josh King driving inside. Josh King scores. Wow. When you want a goal, Josh King wants a goal and talks it away. And convincingly, we will take this result here now, or two. Albert Stanley, he's driving into Josh King. Gives his man King. And then finds Jasper Horde. First time ball across, we'll find Oakley Booth, and it's 5-2. Well, the goals have been coming for us today. And Kashan Oakley Booth will get one off the bench, 5-2. There it is then, a 5-2 win over Preston North End at home. Goals galore today. And although we had a shaky start to this game, we do come away convincing winners in the end. OK, so I don't usually show the scout reports, the monthly uh, youth scout reports, because we haven't had much luck at all when it comes to the way of players. But a 15-year-old uh, goalkeeper here who we've been scouting in Iceland uh, for some random reason. Don't ask me why I did it. We did. We found a goalkeeper. Looks pretty good. He's only 15, though, so we can't actually see um, him in action anytime soon. But we have picked up a good young goalkeeper who we can do, take a look at just now and see just how good this 15-year-old uh, is. Hopefully, he can be the next big thing. We've already got a very good young goalkeeper, of course, and he is 61 rated at 15, left-footed, six foot four, with five-star weak foot. So this guy could be a beast. His arms are the size of pins, but we'll change that, I'm sure. <laughs> Get him on the weights, boys. Okay, Middlesbrough at home then. In the next game for us, we're going to line up with Zikonski in goal. It's going to be Jasper Hood, Gale, Goodwin, John Vier, and Sessignon at the back. Oakley Booth comes into the middle after scoring that goal for us late on. Stanley joins him in the middle as always. And it's going to be Luna on the left-hand side. King and Kahinde up front. Quick same game this one. At home, hopefully we can keep them winning ways going after a good win against Preston North End. And it is going to be a win in this one. Can, um, Kahinde scored for us after Coulson gave them the lead. A minute after they'd scored the opening goal, we replied. And then Berahino, who came off the bench to replace Josh King early in the second half, he came on and he scored in the 77th minute to give us the win then. We had 57% possession, so dominated the game and got the three points. Great result. Second quicks in game then. We are going to be taking on Barnsley away from home. Zhukonski in goal. Hicks, Gale, Goodwin and Bomb and Sessiong are the defence. Lerma back in with Stanley in the middle. Jasper back in as well. King and Barahino starts on the right-hand side after his um, goal-winning goal, winning goal uh, game-winning goal <laughs> in the last game. So another quicks in here away from home. Hopefully another three points, boys, please. It's a defeat, unfortunately, for us. Um, Anderson gave them the lead in the first half. Woodrow we'll added a second. And Berahino did get one back for us in the 82nd minute, but it wasn't an orphan Barnes. They come away with a win. We had better possession. We had more shots and more chances, but unfortunately, just did not get the result on the day. See, the better performers there were the defenders. So I'm guessing we were dominating, but couldn't quite put the chances away and were punished for that. Nicholas Hyde has returned from his injury, so he's back in training. Not yet quite fit, though, and we can now, I think, change the position for and bomb from right back to centre back. We've been waiting for this for a while. Um, 75 rated, he is at right back, and he's still 75 rated at centre back. That doesn't really matter too much to us. He doesn't look like he's going to grow too much either at now at 23. Um, so 
will improve his defensive work rates and stuff like that. And hopefully, you know, the better of him at centre back should get better boost now as well in the starting eleven. Actually, being a centre back, so uh, there we go. And bomb now a centre back for us. Southampton up next in the league, as we know, the final game of this calendar month, and the second place side take on us. We are now fifth in the division. We do have a game in hand on Blackburn, who are above us by just one point. So we can return to fourth if we can win the game in hand, which I think is this one. As Southampton have also played 19. So Southampton away from home. Lineup will be this one. And let's get into this game. You would definitely be expecting Southampton to get promoted this season. It shouldn't last long in the championship. Definitely one of the Premier League level sides and shocked to see them down here, but they are second in the league. Oh, and that's a big, strong tackle on Cahinte. It's only a yellow. Could have definitely been worse for the Southampton man. But hopefully we can get a good shock win today. Josh King, one to Lerma. And the block from the defender there. We'll see it out for a corner. I'll be standing left footed in swinger towards the head of Goodwin, who scored in the last played game. Maybe given away to Hicks and Bomb. I'll be Stanley. Goes down with the challenge and nothing given. Amati tries to play out from the back and gives it away to Lerma, who uses his body to shield it away from back to. Southampton, Kehinde, good footwork, referee, that's a penalty, ball's hit Kehinde on the way out, how is that not a penalty referee, he's nowhere near got that ball surely, and referee hasn't give it, Southampton coming away now, with Armstrong, Diallo, Armstrong, Wesley, Armstrong again, and now Patenga, and he took the book in earlier on, ball out wide to Alvarado, and get the better of his man. It's a great ball to Armstrong. And they lead. Wow. We should have had a pen, surely, moments ago. And Adam Armstrong and took it away for Southampton. Mr. Jasper. Good stabbing tackle from Diallo. And then another tackle from Diallo. Goodwin. Oh, he's been snapped up there by Armstrong, who's quick enough to stay away from Gale. Adam Armstrong's going to be one-on-one -on -one with Jakonski, and he will beat him 2-0, 17 minutes in. Southampton running away with this one. Gale will go to Jefferson Lerma, who has been again tackled from behind, and it's the same guy again. Patenga, second yellow in half an hour and he's off. And that is a lifeline for us. We don't usually do too well against 10 men, but we've got a bit of time in this game and they're going to make a change as well. They're going to bring Wesley, the striker, off here. And Nicole has come on for them. I'm not sure what, how they're going to... I'm sure they was in a 4-4-2. I'm not sure where Patenga was actually playing. I thought he was up front, but they've changed things around. Sessegnon tries to get it forward. Doesn't get to the ball. Sessignon really, since returning from injury, just hasn't got that form that he had before going out. Back, and that's another really reckless challenge, ref. It's only a yellow for Amate and Jasper, who, if it had turned, I think might have been in with his pace. The bomber's got this here. And I'll be Stanley. With his body and keeps possession. Whips a ball back post. Surely, Lerma scores. 2-1, just before the break. We're back in this game. Albi Stanley's delivery, Jefferson Lerma, the two century midfielders linking up. A good whip ball in by Stanley. Lerma gets inside his man and gets us back in this game. Diallo for Southampton. It's a nickel. As they look to work it through here to Armstrong. Adam Armstrong. Good tackle from Gale. We've got enough bodies in there to get a tackle in cleanly. Now Albi Stanley to bring it away. We'll find Josh King and he's got Kahinde in support of him. King goes on his own. Still Josh King. Can't get past the last man though. Armstrong gets it from Latomba. Diallo. Armstrong. So many Armstrongs in this side. Ball out wide now to Alvarado. Kolasinyak gives it back to him. Back to Kolasinyak again. Look to deliver a ball into the danger area. Headed away. Alvarado picks it up and Bomb 
Gale giving away. Great save by Zhukonski. Keeps us in this game. Only just. Jasper can't keep that ball in. But it is a worldy stop from Zhukonski. We need to score quickly. Is that Scott McTominay coming off the bench here? The Championship Southampton. They've got some quality, to say the least. Nicole for Southampton. Goes out wide to Alvarado. Armstrong now. Back to Alvarado again. Gets the better of his man, Armstrong. And skill moves to try and find his way through. But Armstrong, Sessing on oh, what a good tackle though. We can bring it away now for us with seven minutes to play. We need something and we need something quickly. Sessing Young has it. Goes into Person Kahinde. Kahinde. Back to Josh King. It's not the right ball though, and it's going to be a tackle to see it out for a throw in. Seyong with the ball. Kehinde back to Sesenyong. Ball in is a really good ball, but it's going to be headed away. Edge of the box will fall to Goodwin. Lerma, Stanley gives it away. Poor choice of pass in the key moment. And Southampton now to try and just kill time. Tomini for them into Armstrong. Goodwin. It went forward and we could have nicked it, but it's not come to us. Can Hicks win it now? There's two minutes added on. Logan Hicks gets it to Albie Stanley. We need to move it quickly. It's Josh King too quickly. Josh King can get there surely ahead of Daniel Amati and Will. Drive to the corner. Josh King gets his ball in, headed away towards Albie Stanley on the edge of the box. Can he win it back for us? He can't. He's headed it the wrong way and that will be that. 2-1 win for Southampton. Despite being down to 10 men, we'll get the result and our form will not see us head towards the top of the table. It's looking more and more like a playoff finish for us. That will do it for today, though. We will keep building on our results, keep picking up points, and hopefully at the end of the season see ourselves with playoff chances. But that is it for today, boys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.